Hey guys, welcome back. Time for another episode of The Legend of Vox Machina. About to check out episode 2 of season 2. And this one is called The Trials of Vasselheim. So last week was um, episode 1, The Rise of the Chroma Conclave, which were a bunch of crazy, insane dragons who just decimated the palace. My god, it was an insane opening to season 2. It just kind of, it just sucked me in right away. Um, I was trying to, trying to look at the voice talent last week, but I opened up the wrong episode through the internet movie database uh the internet movie database my phone didn't load properly but we had the voice talents of jenna torres in there and lance reddick i think was one of the dragons so big fans of both so without further ado let's just dive into episode number two and as always guys my patreon is linked down below where i have exclusive content full reactions early access and a whole bunch of videos i cannot show on youtube linked in the description box and as always like and subscribe all right let's go three two one go all right so the Crew have escaped to Vasselheim. It worked. Whoa! Oh! Oh shit! Oh Guys, shit! Stop. No! 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 Don't step in. Oh no! R wrong tree? The landing's gonna be a bit rough. <laughs> I'll save awesome! That boobies? Giant boobies! Oh! <laughs> nice one. Caleb can turn into a bird. The tree. I mean, yeah, she, she was so vague. She was vague. Wasn't her fault. So they're going to recruit nuns and and priests to fight. Okay, we didn't get an opening title last week. Now we're getting one this week. Is it new? Critical role. Let's go. I have a good feeling about this place, Percy. Don't worry. Uh oh. Famous last words. My name's Rob, and I require a sandwich. <laughs> Poor Trinket, he never gets any screen time. I'm just blown away by the animation every time I see it. I can't help it, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna gush and gush and gush. Good day. Good day. Good day. Mate, good day, mate. Not good day. Oh. Good day, mate. She got this, okay. I don't think she's gonna got this. Uh, pardon us, we come seeking an audience. So, yeah, there's four dragons. Oh, people are just getting fucked up. You have our thoughts and prayers. Now, good day. I said good day. <laughs> I think you mean good day. <laughs> I love Grog. Okay, so they're not helping. Who is this chick? Maleficent, the Angelina Jolie. Which? Slayers take. Okay, what's that? Interesting. Absolutely not. No good? The Slayer's take. That's what I said. Hunger. Hmm? Hmm? Hunger. Who's oh, I am calling hungry. Grog? <laughs> Thanks, stomach. What? Who's calling Grog? Was it that witch lady? Whoa. This looks inviting. Saw their trophies. No oh, shit. They just got here. <laughs> Grog! Oh, Grog's not here. Grog? Oh, shit. <laughs> their muscle. Something diverted him away. Uh -oh. oh, impressive. All right. Whoa. For day? For day. <laughs> Yeah, big dumb lug. What is going on? Why is he being led into a trap? Who's this dude? I'm Earthbreaker Groom. Okay. This feels real weird. But fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Just turned into gladiator. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, is that gonna be a talking snail? No. Zara. Oh, oh, she worked for them? They worked for them before. That part of the take? So dragons hoard gold? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Oh, they're in trouble. Interest. Oh, there's going to be some fighting. Oh, shit. What the heck? What? The boss is coming. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. Damn. Where do you find your strength? 
my muscles. Ooh, oh, <laughs> oh shit. This show is just fascinating. Murderers down here. Are you sure about that? There's something down here. Is it another dragon? Is the patron a dragon? A big talky dragon? This makes you tremble. Not a I dragon. Kill. Are you the patron? She got a big lion? Oh, Caesar. A sphinx. Wow. I didn't realize they still existed. She's a sphinx. This is cool. Psychological attack. I love the voice. Oh shit. Here comes the rage. That sword. He's got to be careful with that thing. God, she knows them all. Their deepest secrets. Yeah. Oh my god, she's tearing them apart. You don't have to call out my shit, okay? <laughs> I know I can be kind of annoying. No one cares about you. I'm no different. Wow. Harsh. That was the cruelest blow of all. Come on, Grog. I feel this is important. No, it's my heart. That's my real strength. Yeah, man. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> It is your muscles and your rage. He's getting his ass kicked. This is a real great character driven episode. They've all gotta yeah, they've gotta rise up. And if I don't I'll kick your ass. Would you sacrifice your life just to prove a point? You'll so we're gonna see some growth from Grog. Dragons. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> wow. This is so cool. Fetch quest. And bring it to my mate. Nice. To your mate? Big fan of mating over here. <laughs> we have a plan. We gotta get the things. Me, you need to worry about letting down. Only each other. Oh. Oh, does that mean they're gonna have... Some team angst? Say it was nice catching up, but it wasn't. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's not going to sit well. What <gasps> happened to you? Uh, what happened to you? That's what I said. Oh, an old man beat me up. <laughs> yes, please. What has he found here? Come in. Wasn't sure I'd find a black powder dealer here in Vasselheim. Ah, oh, magic stuff. Relax! It's only coffee. I think as she had one hand. I've learned from my mistakes. Wait, wait, wait. Ripley? Do I do I remember Ripley? Oh. Oh dude. Oh. <laughs> Ripley, one hand, season one. Remind me down below, guys. Um good second app. So it was all about the um the team and the Sphinx just psychoanalyzing them pretty much. I love Ashley Johnson as Pike. She does such a great job. Mary Elizabeth McGlynn as Zara. And Ike Amadi as Earthbreaker Groon. I just I like to know the, the voice cast when I'm watching the show. Okay, Amazon Studios once again. Alright, I like um like the first episode was definitely all about um, massive destruction, kind of like setting up what's happening with the dragons and the whole palace was just destroyed and now our heroes have gotten away and now it's kind of like forming a plan on how to destroy these dragons. So it's all about the vestiges. But we had some great character moments in here too with Grog taking on Groon and he's kept asking him, where's your power from? So that's something we haven't really explored before with Grog. He's just been the muscle, big dumb lug. So we're going to learn more something about him. He's going to tap into something, become a better warrior. And then the, the, the Sphinx psychoanalyzing all the team. And Scanlan, no one cares about you. I'm no different. Damn, that was a burn. So, yeah, poor guy. But it was just like the teamwork, right? She kind of implied that they need to kind of work together. And, and it kind of 
almost alludes to the fact that they're going to be divided in some way moving forward. There's going to be some kind of internal conflict or some kind of something's going to be they're going, they're going to be split up in some way. That's what I'm kind of got it. That's what I kind of got from that. But yeah, good. Oh. <laughs> great it's a it's a good show i'm really enjoying it man but anyway guys if you enjoy my reaction then have by leaving a like or subscribing and once again my patreon and socials all linked down below in the description box so click the link come say hi all right catch you next time thanks for watching